Welcome to N4 Electrotechniques, and in this video, we'll be looking at AC power supply, which is also known as the reticulation network. A reticulation network includes all conductors and infrastructure, which delivers electricity to consumers. There are four main sections of the network, the generation, transmission, distribution, and utilization. We get different types of uh, power stations in South Africa for coal-fired power stations in terms of the operation. Coal is burnt and the heat produced is used to boil water. The steam is pressurized and then drives the turbine. The steam is then cooled and turned back into water. For nuclear power stations, the nuclear reactor splits the uranium atoms through a process called fusion. The heat turns water into steam, which then drives the turbine. For a gas power station, the fuel-air mixture is burnt in the combustion chamber, and the turbine converts natural gas into mechanical energy. For a photovoltaic power station, the sun's rays are converted directly into electricity by releasing electrons from photons. For the solar thermal power station, the sun's rays are converted indirectly into electricity through the heating of a tower by the sun tracking mirrors. For a hydroelectric power station, it converts kinetic energy from water into mechanical energy through the turbine. Here's an exam type question. Why are power stations situated far from major load centers. And the reason for power stations being far away from cities is to be near natural resources and to prevent pollution in cities and to prevent injury to the public. For the transmission section, we look at the advantages of high voltage transmission. By using high voltage, we require thinner cables, less current is drawn, and less pylons are used, which means we save on costs. However, the disadvantages of high voltage transmission, high voltage is dangerous and additional transformers are needed. Why is there no neutral conductor in high voltage transmission? So on the transmission side, you'll notice that the primary star has three lives and a neutral, whereas delta only has three lives. Because the delta connection only has three conductors, it means less material, it is lighter and also cheaper. So we always find for the transmission, we have delta on the secondary side. For the distribution network, as electricity passes through the transmission lines to the substations, where electricity is then stepped down through transformers, from these substations, electricity is distributed to consumers via different feeder circuits. A feeder circuit is a electrical power line that transfers electrical energy from the distribution substation to the distribution transformers. And there are four main feeder circuits. We have the uh, radial feeder system, ring feeder system, the parallel feeder system, and the interconnected, also known as the mesh feeder system. For the radial feeder system, you'll notice that we have a single power line, and this allows electricity to flow only in one direction. Um, in terms of the advantages for the radial feeder system, it is a simple system, not too expensive, less cables are used, and less maintenance is required. However, for the disadvantages, it is not a reliable system. Nearby regions get overloaded and regions far away experience voltage drops. For the ring feeder system, you'll notice that we have a type of loop that is being supplied. So you can supply your load from different sides and not just one side. Uh, in terms of the advantages, it is supplied from both ends more consumers are supplied, and maintenance can be carried out without disruption to the supply. However, for the disadvantages, the costs are more high, 
more cables are needed and the maintenance costs start to increase. For the parallel feeder, it is very similar to the loop feeder system and will have the same advantages and disadvantages where it is being supplied from more than one side. For the interconnected or mesh feeder system, it is supplied by two or more secondary substations. Thank you very much for watching this video for AC Power Supply.